Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 950. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O incomprehensible and limitless mercy divine, to extol and adore you worthily, who can? Supreme attribute of Almighty God, you are the sweet hope for sinful man. Into one hymn yourselves unite, stars, earth, and sea, and in one accord, thankfully and fervently, sing of the incomprehensible divine mercy. My Jesus, you see that your holy will is everything to me. It makes no difference to me what you do with me. You command me to set to work, and I begin calmly, although I know that I am incapable of it. Through your representatives, you order me to wait, so I wait patiently. You fill my soul with enthusiasm, but you do not make it possible for me to act. You attract me to yourself in heaven, and you leave me in this world. You pour into my soul a great yearning for yourself, and you hide yourself from me. I am dying of the desire to be united with you forever, and you do not let death come near me. O will of God, you are the nourishment and delight of my soul. When I submit to the holy will of my God, a deep peace floods my soul. O my Jesus, you do not give a reward for the successful performance of a work, but for the good will and the labor undertaken. Therefore, I am completely at peace, even if all my undertakings and efforts should be thwarted or should come to naught. If I do all that is in my power, the rest is not my business. And therefore, the greatest storms do not disturb the depths of my peace. The will of God dwells in my conscience. February 15, 1937 Today my suffering increased somewhat. I not only feel greater pain all through my lungs, but, I all, but also some strange pains in my intestines. I am suffering as much as my weak nature can bear, all for immortal souls, to plead the mercy of God for poor sinners and to beg for strength for priests. Oh, how much reverence I have for priests! and I am asking Jesus, the High Priest, to grant them many graces. Today, at Holy Communion, the Lord told me, My daughter, my delight is to unite myself with you. It is when you submit yourself to my will that you give me the greatest glory, and draw down upon yourself a sea of blessings. I would not take such special delight in you if you were not living by my will. O oh, my sweet guest, I am prepared for all sacrifices for your sake, but you know that I am weakness itself. Nevertheless, with you I can do all things. O oh, my Jesus, I beseech you, be with me at each instant. February 15, 1937 Today I heard these words in my soul. Host, pleasing to my Father, know, my daughter, that the entire Holy Trinity finds its special delight in you because you live exclusively by the will of God. No sacrifice can compare with this. After these words, the knowledge of God's will came to me. That is to say, I now see everything from a higher point of view and accept all events and things, pleasant and unpleasant, 
with love as tokens of the Heavenly Father's special affection. Many of you may recognize the first prayer in this section since we pray it in Stockbridge each day after the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy. It comes from the diary and was written by St. Faustina. Faustina writes another beautiful prayer in praise of the Divine Mercy. She is very poetic and very creative. Then she speaks about God's will. I think she expresses even a little frustration here because God seems to draw her in one direction but then doesn't let her aspirations be fulfilled. But this is part of her training. Uh, God will fulfill all her desires in good time, and she knows that. In the meantime, she only wants to do God's will, even when she wants something else. Faustina's physical sufferings increased. She offers it all for the conversion of sinners, and she also prays and intercedes very much for priests, very important. And Jesus tells her that he loves to unite with her uh, spiritually because she always does his will, and she always wants to do his will. And the Holy Trinity also delights in her because she does God's will. Faustina then received the very special grace of knowing God's will, seeing things from God's perspective.